Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're shooting another episode of Scientology from a Scientologist perspective. So hold on to your seats. Alright guys, so Scientology. Yay, here we go. So I'm covering Scientology continues to use the United Nations as a prop for its propaganda. It's going to be an article by Rod Keller. It's posted on June 30th, 2019 on the Underground Bunker, which is, of course, TonyOrtega.org. And <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't even know where to start with this because it's just, it, 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 it's just what it is. So first, let's start off with, here we go again, another front company for Scientology, another front group for them, the Youth for Human Rights. And it's a front group for Scientology. Um, they just, around the 30th, they held a three-day event that brought Scientology allies together to discuss the importance of human rights and safe pointed the church um, youth for human rights has a successful has successfully associated Scientology with the United Nations through this event um, over the past couple of years because you know Scientology can't be directly associated with things because of everything that Scientology brings up and you know there's kind of checkered past and everybody knows that you know it's a cult so they use their little front groups to kind of ally themselves with the places they want to be but everybody in Scientology uses this event as a huge huge public relations thing so this is the most important PR event on Scientology's calendar because of the recruiting possibilities for new allies. So, why is that? Well, first, we need to talk about safe pointing. So, safe pointing per LRH is to recruit Scientology allies, aka non Scientologists. So, these allies are people that are not Scientologists, will never be Scientologists. Just people that can be used for Scientology purposes. <clears throat> the reason behind this is for them to come to his and the church's aid when the government attempts to prosecute, tax, or regulate Scientology. Now this is per L. Ron Hubbard, you know, Grand Lord in Chief of Scientology. So the front groups are a way for Scientology to recruit anonymously. Also, it's a way for them to get allies on Scientology's side for when people like me or, you know, more notably like Leah Rimney, Mike Rinder, larger, well, more well-known people start poking at Scientology and try to get the government to do something, you know, like they're supposed to do. Um, these allies will come out and be like, oh, well, you know, they're not that bad. Look at what they're doing here. Look at what they're doing there. And throw up a bunch of smoke screens to hide what they're really doing behind the scenes. So the allies can align with the group with a cause that they agree with. All the while supporting Scientology and their more nefarious activities behind the scenes. So let's talk about people that are aligning with Scientology. So I'm going to do a couple of jump cuts here and insert some pictures because you need to see these faces. Also, I can't pronounce some of these names. So insert picture here. Okay, so that person was 
Gilmer or Guillermo Pio. I, I don't know. Uh, from Argentina. Also, you have insert picture here. This is Victoria Sumani from Sierra Leone. These two are having their first contact with Scientology through this conference. Now then, also insert picture here. This is Laura Gusia, Gusio from Italy. She has been an ally of Scientology since 2009 after participating in the opening of the Rome Ideal Org. Now these allies are now, you know, this ally and these two new allies can be used as tools in the church in times of need. Uh, Scientology can also use their list of celebrities for, of any notoriety to further their search for allies to make sure they have plenty of allies in the future. <clears throat> and they do use any list of celebrities. You know, they have their A-list celebrities like Tom Cruise, all their A-list celebrities and they have their B-list celebrities and then they have C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, and whatever. If they've had any screen time, they will use that celebrity to try to get any kind of recruitment out of them to get any kind of person to align with Scientology or if they can, try to recruit people to join Scientology. So all Scientology front groups are under the control of the Office of Special Affairs, also known as OSA, OSA. OSA is the secret police for Scientology and they also regulate the interaction between Scientology and the outside world. These include PR, lawsuits, and all the information gathering practices that the church does, including and not limited to private investigators, uh, tracking devices, and all other sorts of nefarious things that they like to do, and they also handle all of the dealings with critics. So, all of these front groups fall under OSA. So, then you have Beth Akiyam, Akiyama, not sure how she pronounces her last name. Um, she's with the National, oh, she's with OSA, and she is now housed at the National Affairs Office in Washington, D.C., and she was formerly with the OSA New York OSA office. Um, she was at this conference, and she spoke on the right of education as part of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. But here's the problem with that. Most young Scientologists that are in Scientology are denied education. One, if you're raised in Scientology, you go to Scientology-based schools, which have skewed education as most fundamentalist-based fundamentalist education systems do. But two, if you have parents that are in the Sea Org or on staff, you are outright denied furthering your education. If you join the Sea Org or staff, you are outright denied furthering your education. So, these are, you know, some things to consider. Also, you're talking about fundamental human rights. Well, let's look into some fundamental human rights in Scientology just ignores or stomps all over or in their own rights 
violate. They deny parents to see their children when they are in the Sea Org. They deny Sea Org members a living wage. Um, they also deny Sea Org or C or members the ability to start a family, which means have children. Uh, they have forced abortions. Um, there is the entire policy of disconnection where you break up families for people that are leaving Scientology or have left Scientology. Uh, there is the tremendous debt that you put people in, be it free loader debt for people that have left Sea Org or have left staff, or the tremendous amount of debt you put people in just to be part of your religion. Um, and that's just throwing some things off the top of my head. Um, not to mention the amount of human rights you violate when people are a higher up, when you talk about them going into the hole at gold base or going to, you know, if they're in the Sea Org and they get in trouble and then they're being put on punishment. I mean, the, the, the number of human rights that Scientology violates is tremendous. And then talk about, you know, OSA in itself with the following people and the information gathering that it does by putting trackers on people's cars, following people, um, breaking into homes, which they've done, breaking into businesses, which they've done. The cutting down of a tree on a business property so that you can spy into the business and see what they are doing at all times of the day. Uh, busting into private business meetings, um, spreading false information, <clears throat> not only on the internet, but to neighbors in people's neighborhoods. And that's just, again, things that I'm rattling off of the top of my head if I were to sit down and actually think about it and write things down I could probably come up with an even longer list of things. These are just things that I'm popping off the top of my head as I sit here in front of my camera. But, you know, a division of Scientology, a front group for Scientology is doing a rally that ends at the UN for human rights. That seems wholly important. That seems totally on the straight and narrow there. Maybe your front group should look into you. Oh, yeah. That wouldn't work out for you, would it? <laughs> My bad. Okay guys, so let's get into another video here. We're going to look into another Scientology article. I'm trying to get this pulled up on my phone if my brain would work with me here. So this is titled, Scientology's Anti-Drug Hero is an ex-con who is coming for your school kids. This one was written by Tony Ortega. It was posted on August 14th, 2019. Obviously, it's posted on the Underground Bunker, which is TonyOrtega.org. So, let's introduce everybody to Michael DeLeon. He's a motivational speaker who uses his years of drug, uh, his years of addiction and crime to speak with kids about staying away from both. Leon spent years in prison due to his activities with a drug gang and a drug gang in New Jersey. One prison stretch was for the murder his gang had been involved in. <clears throat> the victim of the murder was De Leon's own mother. Pretty sad shit. Not very cool. But let's see here. Now, I mean, this seems like on the up and up, right? I mean, you've got an, an ex-drug addict, an ex-convict, going around talking to school kids about, hey, stay away from this. This is what I've learned. This is pretty bad for you. I mean, pretty kind of 
eye-opening stuff so along the lines of scared straight kind of thing um, 2007 D, uh, D. Leon got out of prison for good and started making changes in his life. He tried to help others avoid the mistakes that he made, and D. Leon has done good for himself since then. Okay, cool. Way to go, dude. You may be asking yourself, then, why is this being covered? Pretty good question there. Well, D. Leon has been affo affiliated with Scientology's anti-drug front group. Of course he has, because anything good has to be tainted by Scientology. So De Leon's program is called Steered Straight. His website proclaims no religious or political affiliations. But Tony Otego attempted to contact De Leon about his work with Scientology, uh, which he never responded to. However, since the email, De Leon has increased his work with the church. So let's run down his Scientology activity. So De Leon recently visited the Clearwater Academy International, which is a small Scientology school based in Clearwater, Florida, to which he wrote on his, um, after visiting the school, this is what he posted. Most rewarding day in a long time. Very impactful presentation this morning. Almost made me, oh, almost more for me, I think. Just an incredible school with massive success. Our future it is in this young generation. De Leon had a steered straight event at the Fort Harrison Hotel. If you don't know what the Fort Harrison Hotel is, it is one of the first buildings that LRH bought in Clearwater. It's like a huge mecca in Clearwater for Scientologists. Um, where he was joined by Scientologist Slifer Jim Meskimer. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and there are pictures to prove that. Um, and let's not leave this one out. De Leon was also featured on Scientology TV. So, yeah. So, oh, dropping stuff. Anyway, so, I mean, all in all, De Leon was doing a lot of good things. Like, he was on the right path. Like, he had him a good thing going. But he messed around and he got involved in the cult. And, here's the thing. Like, he could really get out of this and still have a good thing going. I mean, he's got a good message. He just needs to get away from Scientology and do it on his own and he'd be fine. So, if he could, like, separate himself, he'd be good. So, that's all we've really got going on. I mean, like, really and truly, De Leon kind of really just traded in, like, an abusive drug street gang for, like, an abusive religious extremist cult. So, like, he charited one bad guy for another. Anyway, guys. Okay, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Ring that bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. I upload six days a week before 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. In the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know what do you think about these Scientology front groups, such as the Youth, of, Youth for Human Rights group or the anti-drug group that I've covered in both of these articles today. Also, what do you think about Scientology using these front groups to promote people to support Scientology or to recruit people into Scientology or to recruit them to support Scientology? Also, down below in the description box, 
you'll find my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also my email down there. If you have something that you want me to cover, go ahead and send it to me. And if I do a video on it, I will shout you out in that video so that everybody knows that that idea came from you. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.